Welcome to God's country. This is South Louisiana, winter. <laughs> this is a beautiful day. Hey guys, I'm really excited. Right now we're kind of in the midst of the whole Star Wars thing. The, um, what was it? Uh, the Rise of Skywalker, the last supposedly Star Wars movie just came out. In true Star Wars fashion, I decided to come out here and do my review on my brand new CMMG MK10 10 millimeter. Now, the reason why I'm kind of tying these two things together is when the fine folks at CMMG, let me get that right, CMMG, reached out to me, the first thing they asked me was, well, what color do you want it in? And that's kind of an odd question because typically whenever these manufacturers are sending us firearms, we don't always have that option. It's usually whatever they've got on hand or something like that. So I went through and looked at all of their Cerakote type options and dude, they have some beautiful options out there, tons of different colors. But the one thing that I thought of, and honestly, I didn't make the connection to Star Wars at the time, but the one thing that I thought of was, I don't have a white gun. I've never wanted a white gun. I don't hunt in the snow, but I don't have a white gun. This thing was actually named, the Cerakote color of this is Stormtrooper White. I thought that was cool. So now I'm tying that whole theme together and treating it like the whole Star Wars type thing that we have going on. Now, we actually have a pretty cool firearm to talk to you about today. The CMMG MK10, the Banshee in 10 millimeter. The cool thing about this pistol is that it is not your standard type of pistol. You're gonna see some things in most of your PCCs, pistol caliber carbines, that they're gonna work with a pretty standard bolt system. The Banshee has a different type of system. And, and to be quite honest with you, the reason why it has a different type of system is kind of like it was a necessity. The type of system in a standard AR-15 model is gonna come with either a DI gas system or a piston system. This is completely different. This is a delayed blowback system. You'll notice that this thing is designed with this little part on top that appears to be a gas key. It is not a gas key. It's there to keep things in line during the blowback of the actual bolt. The bolt itself is also spring-loaded inside the bolt carrier. This thing also gives you a little bit less felt recoil, but in general, the design here is the cool part of it because again, with it being a necessity, they've accomplished something that a lot of these other companies have not been able to. A lot of people have been pushing towards trying to design a 10 millimeter in the AR style platform and just not been successful because of the bolt system. So look for some other companies to try to adopt and maybe steal this type of technology from CMMG, but it's definitely one that works and we'll show you here in a second on the range. Now, speaking of that Cerakote job, look how clean this Cerakote job is. There's only a few guys out there KM3, Blown Deadline, Mad Pig Customs, and a few other guys that I really like to follow on social media that I can attribute this style and this level of Cerakote quality to. Now, I haven't had it for very long, so I don't know how it's gonna wear and how it's gonna hold up. But as far as the overall coverage, they seem to have done a pretty good job on it. The pistol does ship with 130 round SGM magazine. This magazine is designed to actually hold the bolt open on the last round. Comes with an eight inch barrel. The SV brake on the muzzle is an awesome brake. Really controls that muzzle rise. I really like the way it sends that sound and that, that force out to the sides. Uh, you're not gonna be dealing with that physically as you're shooting this supposedly a little bit of high powered round. The pistol itself comes in at right at five pounds. I think a couple of ounces over. It's 23.9 inches long. All right guys, I've got my action target target set up out here. AR 500 steel. Uh, can definitely handle this 10 millimeter round. I'm set up at 15 yards. I wanna keep this kind of close, at least at first, because my appeal, my draw to the PCC is the fact that I could rotate and change between, say, my handgun rounds magazine and my PCC. I could use the same magazine and same ammunition. And typically that's gonna be a self-defense distance that I'm dealing with. I'm not hunting, even though I could hunt polar bears with my 10 millimeter, I'm not doing that with this particular uh, pistol right here. So I'm gonna keep it kind of close here. All right, guys, I set my TA target up at about, about 30 yards now. Remember, I've got a loophole LCO on here. I probably zeroed this thing in about 15 to 20 yards, again, trying to keep it kind of close. So at 30 yards, uh, I'm gonna have to adjust my, adjust my aim a little bit, but still I'll be on.
A lot of the 10 millimeter rounds that you'll see me shooting with, and I, right now I'm shooting with arm score. I love their ammunition because it's very consistent. As you can see it, even at a greater distance like this, it's still consistent enough to keep me on target every single time. However, the vast majority, this is not a knock at any of the ammo manufacturers out there, certainly not at arm score, but the vast majority of your 10 millimeter rounds out there are watered down. They are because that's just kind of the industry standard. That's what everyone has come to expect from the 10 millimeter round. Underwood makes a full power 10 millimeter the way it was originally designed. Now I don't have any out here today. I'm gonna to do that for a separate review because I wanna compare the two. I want you to see what normal civilian 10 millimeter is and uh, a real big boy 10 millimeter is. There is a buffer uh, that, that CMMG offers to accommodate that real round, the manly round. I'll call theirs the manly buffer. You order the manly buffer from CMMG and you can shoot this watered down stuff with the buffer that comes with the, the pistol or you can purchase that one and shoot the full powered stuff. So I'll definitely be doing that in a future video, but I want to let you guys to know that that option is certainly available. CMMG really thought of everything whenever they designed this thing. All right, guys, I got stuff to talk about. This CMMG Banshee is a lot of fun. I decked it out with a lot of the things that I prefer um, on my style of pistol slash rifle that I use. But let me point out real quick a couple of things that came standard on this that are pretty nice. Obviously, you got your Magpul pistol grip, but I don't know who makes this charging handle. This is very similar to that Raptor style charging handle that everybody started using a few years back. I really like that. And if you like to charge with your right hand, um, easy to get to, easy to grip, very versatile. Uh, I did not see a manufacturer on there, so I don't know who it was. Um, I do have some backup sights that I put on here. I always look at that in terms of whatever optical I have on here. I do have the LCO by Loophole on here, but I always want a backup. If I don't have an etched reticle in my red dot, I don't want to rely on batteries all the time. So I did put some Fab Defense flip up sights on here. I also put on a Strike Industries uh, hand stop on here. Now, a lot of people look at the way I put my hand stops on guns and they're like, oh, you put it on wrong. I'm quite aware with how the manufacturer intends for you to put these on. I actually put mine on not on the bottom and not frontwards. I put mine on the side and backwards. And the reason why is because I like to not have to think when I have to use a firearm. And in this case, whenever I grab, let's say I grab this PCC really fast and I need to address a threat. Well, I can roll my hand up there and what happens is I'm able to push my webbing of my hand right into place and it keeps me safe off the muzzle. The rest of my hand stays back here and it keeps me right where I wanna be in terms of that support hand being out front. It's not too far out front where I'm in danger of the muzzle, but it's not so far back that I'm giving up some of my accuracy and control of the weapon. So it puts it right where I need to be. So I just like that. So yeah, I felt like I needed to point that out that it's not on wrong. It's on wrong according to the manufacturer, but it's on right for me. I also put these rail protectors on top here, again, to kind of give it that cool Star Wars kind of feel. Um, another thing, it comes with some, um, I, I really like, and this is my LBX uh, strap, by the way. They don't make a better sling than this. This is the best two-point sling, <laughs> and it's cheap uh, in the industry. I love this thing. But uh, for two reasons why I put this particular type of Magpul um, uh, sling attachment on here. Number one, this beautiful Cerakote, I wanted to keep it off the actual attachment off of it a little bit so it wasn't always constantly breaking the paint up. It's going to scratch the paint right there eventually, the Cerakote, but I didn't want to immediately do it and not be thinking about it. I do like some of the, I believe it's Bravo Company. I use some of the Bravo Companies on some of my other weapons. I like to keep my sling, my second point of my sling up front behind my hand also. Again, that's just so I don't have anything interfering with my hand as I go up to engage my target, but I also feel like I have plenty of control. I still have this far enough frontwards to where I still can, can put it in position and put it into a bind to where I'm still maintaining a good level of control by having two completely separate points on my sling. Of course, you have your quick detach on your SB Tactical brace back here. This, this is definitely an SB Tactical brace. It's got the CMMG logo on the back, but it's without question uh, uh, SB Tactical. Makers of the best braces so why would you go with anybody else besides them anyway uh, i mentioned the sgm uh, magazine earlier no problems with it whatsoever i've heard some people say that 
the Banshee doesn't necessarily hold open on Glock magazines and other magazines that do in fact run and fit this. I had no problems with it. The uh, Glock 20 magazine that I used for my own Glock 20, it held the bolt open just fine. So the SGM obviously does as well. So I certainly had no problems there. So guys, this, this is a wonderful thing. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Um, you just feel like you got more. It's a noticeable difference from the 9 to the 10, even though we are dealing with more of a watered down round. So um, I recommend you get your hands on one if you get a chance to. Uh, the guys at CMG were kind enough to, to, again, let me pick my Stormtrooper white, and I felt like that was kind of a cool uh, uh, thing that I had going with the, th uh, the whole Stormtrooper thing. Kind of the... That, that whole kind of thing there. Uh, I couldn't use the actual Star Wars music because then I would violate some copyright laws there. So <laughs> that's my own rendition of the uh, the uh, Vader walk. So uh, again, guys, a lot of fun to shoot. Um, just for those of you that, that may be asking, uh, I am going to be doing a review, review on the uh, Leupold LCO. This is a wonderful optic right here. I'm a big fan of this thing. Um, so I will be doing a follow-up review and I'll probably keep it on this Banshee as well because it shot so well on the Banshee. Um, that I'll probably be doing that with it. So again, look for that also, the follow-up review on that. Guys, I ask a lot, and I know a lot of people ask a lot, but please subscribe to our channel here. Um, also hit the bell if you could to get notifications. Um, we get a lot of our friends that let us know who are following us that even though they hit the bell, they still don't get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And that's a shame. I have no control over that. It's nothing and it's no setting that we do on our end. It's our good friends over at Google and YouTube who are controlling all of that and making sure that you're not getting notifications. So if you would subscribe and at least check back in to see when we have new videos, uh, I would really appreciate that. And guys, as I like to say, never be afraid to be the safest guy in the room and the deadliest.